So this is just a quick video on the work I've done to get these bits from Bytes Printers functional again. I'd actually picked up four of these uh, from an e-waste company at a pretty good price, but uh, I went into it knowing that really all I wanted were the motors and, and, and the frame itself. So uh, a lot of the components uh, I ended up having to toss out. Uh, these things are actually tanks. This thing is like 88 pounds, so it's, it's really heavy. And when you look at it, like for instance, just the extruder uh, itself, it's no wonder why. Um, it's actually a shame. I mean, the alum aluminum components, uh, the machining that went into them, I mean, it's like works of art, but they're just so so bulky. So if you look at this one here with the, uh, the three extruders here, we've got the stepper motors are back here. The hot ends are way down here, for instance, the way they extend down. So... Uh, just this alone on one of my taken apart, uh, I think it was about eight pounds uh, is what it weighed. So there's a lot of weight that it was flinging around. And then on top of that, I think the way this worked was uh, it actually would only be had enough current to be able to, to get one hot end up to temp. And then when it needed to change colors, then it would have to uh, reduce the temp on that and then spin up the other one. And the reason why is because they used... A tiny little uh, uh, power supply so it's not possible that it could drive all three of them at the same time so I, I would imagine printing with this thing was probably pretty rough uh, it uses a proprietary uh, controller board here and uh, and actually had, there's a nice uh, touch display over here I powered it up messed around with it but in the end all this stuff is going to get tossed so uh, I've ended up putting a ramps board uh, on here and uh, change it out to uh, higher wattage power supply. And then in terms of the hot end, I actually went to an E3D uh, Titan Arrow uh, extruder. I have that on my Reword Prusa and I'm very happy with it. But I'll show you the uh, other printer here in a moment. And like I said, I reused much of the wiring and the motors, but I 3D printed, I'd made uh, items in Inventor and 3D printed them for uh, the X and Y axis. Uh, the build platform, <laughs> This thing also, I mean, this is like a lethal weapon. So this thing, this thing is also a couple pounds, it feels like. So it's this sandwich glass material. So, yep, getting rid of that thing. Um, so anyways, I have it now functional. I have the parts. I'll get them on uh, on Thingiverse. Uh, I still have some minor tweaks I'm going to make too. But let's go take a look at the other printer as it's uh, printing right now. So here's the reworked uh, bits from Bytes printer in action. Um, and you can see here now we've kind of done away with all those big com uh, aluminum components. We're using E3D's uh, arrow, uh, Titan Aero extruder. Uh, and then uh, the various things that now replace the aluminum items. So I had made these in Inventor. And uh, like I said, I tried to reuse as much of the wiring. So the wiring and uh, the motors. So mainly just replace the things that are working on the X and Y axis. Uh, and here you can see I'm printing out jaws. So by tradition, uh, every time I do a printer, uh, the very first thing it ever prints out is, is a copy of jaws. So this goes back to, oh, and it just finished. So this goes back to when I had got my first printer, which was a wooden uh, um, printer bot simple. So the very first thing I printed was, uh, was jaws. So. Anyways, so yeah, here's the item, uh, and um, like I said, I've got some minor tweaks I want to make to the components as I finalize it, and then I'll get these uploaded to, uh, to Thingiverse. Certainly feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Um, so down here we just have regular uh, a ramps board. I picked this up on eBay, so I want to get the enclosure printed, and so kind of seal it up, get rid of the wiring, clean up the wiring a bit. Uh, also, about a four, I think it's a 400 watt power supply, so eventually we'll add a heated bed. Uh, speaking of the bed, so I just threw a piece of glass that I had on there, so certainly a lot lighter than what was there before, but not quite uh, big enough. So we certainly need to get uh, a, a different one on there so we have a little bit bigger build platform. What I like about this printer, though, if you heard just now, is it's pretty quiet. So it's a lot quieter than my reworked Persa. Um, it actually has a pretty good size motor down here for the, uh, the z-axis but uh, overall we'll see how it works out so at least it's it's working that's a step in the right direction so uh, uh, feel free to reach out though if you got any questions and uh, yeah if you've got one of these uh, printers i think you can definitely uh, get it uh, functional and probably generate some good quality prints out of it